Gonna find out who's naughty and drunk. Hi, it's Thursday. You're watching Thirsty Thursday, the show where it's Thursday and we get. We drink very responsibly. Yeah, so I know it's been a while since we've done a Thirsty Thursday and a lot of people have been inquiring and having different theories as to why that is. Really, it was just because I want to create drinks more than I want to try other people's drinks and I can't create my own drinks on a weekly basis. I need more time for like inspiration and shit. So I wanted to wait till I had something really good for you guys and I think this is the one. This Christmas, coming to a thirsty mouth near you, I present Santa's nightcap. I don't peg Santa as the kind of person who would come home from a day at work and just drink whiskey on the rocks. This guy likes sugar. So I've created a drink that I think represents his personality and his drinking style probably let's make this drink first off shout out to Captain Morgan for this amazing Christmas ooted you're not actually drinking Captain Morgan but it is a very nice gift thank you for this drink you will need Smirnoff peppermint twist I was originally gonna go to the store for peppermint schnapps but then I saw this and well it just needed to be bought look at this packaging how can you resist this Beautiful packaging. Ugh, I can't. Next, butterscotch schnapps. Try saying that when you're drunk. Can't do it. I mean, when you're responsibly inebriated. Next, Goldschlager or any sort of cinnamon schnapps. I have Goldschlager. And grenadine. I know this sounds like a really weird flavor to mix with those other flavors, but trust me, it's not gonna taste like cherry. It's gonna taste like, it's gonna just taste sweet, okay? You'll believe it when you taste it. First, you're gonna want a glass that's about this size, plus or minus, depending on how much liquor you would like in your body. We're gonna fill it with ice. He's making it lift and he's checking it ice. <laughs> Next, we're gonna take our Smirnoff peppermint twist and we're gonna put about two ounces in there. This just tastes like Christmas. This will be the Christmas part of the drink. Then, we're gonna take our butterscotch schnapps and we're gonna put about one ounce of it into the drink. This represents all of the candy, cookies, sweet desserts that Santa likes to eat. Do you know how Santa's elves wrap presents? With butterscotch tape. <laughs> You can leave. Goldschlager or any kind of cinnamon schnapps. This represents all the red hot chimneys that Santa had to go down because some people are non-believers and didn't put the fires out of their chimneys. Assholes. 0.5 ounces, beautiful. Then we're gonna add just a splash of grenadine. It might feel weird for you to do this, but trust me, you're gonna like it. Also, don't trust anybody that ever tells you that, except for me. Also, don't trust anyone who tells you that. Except for me. Add a splash of grenadine. This represents Rudolph's red nose. Then we're gonna take our little drink mixture and we're gonna put it in our shaker. We're just kinda, kinda like, you know, pass it back and forth a few times. Till it looks beautiful, like this. And then lastly, I forgot to list this in the ingredients, but just a little bit of milk on the top. We all know Santa likes to drink milk to flush down everything. I'm using almond milk because Santa's in California right now, but you can use whatever kind of milk you want. Gonna find out who's naughty and drunk responsibly inebriated. It even has little gold flakes in it from the Goldschlager. How festive! And lastly, and most cutely, we're gonna garnish with a candy cane. I have a pack of 18 candy canes here and not one single one wasn't broken. There's literally a graveyard of open candy canes right here on this counter. Either leave it in the plastic or we could use a broken candy cane because that's how Santa feels after going around the world giving kids presents. All right, those candy canes drown. Great, and there it is, a Santa hat. Santa's nightcap. Let's put a straw in this baby. That works, cheers. Damn, that's good. This tastes like a Christmas party in your mouth. Like people are having a good time in there. This is Santa's nightcap. Okay, what's in it? Smirnoff, peppermint twist, gold schlager, butterscotch schnapps, and grenadine. Oh, Dang. And some milk. Dang, dude. Hell wow. yeah. That's hella, hella good. It tastes like um, peppermint ice cream or something. Yeah? Yeah. It tastes to me like a gingerbread house. Like when you put all the decorations on it and then you start eating the gingerbread house with True. all the decorations on it. But see, that's why I strategically always put my favorite fruity candies just on top of the gingerbread house. Yeah. So I don't get the peppermint everywhere. Oh, I like the peppermint <clears throat> on there. No, I like it on a certain, in a certain way, but if you're gonna put like a bunch of gumdrops and shit, I don't like it mixed with peppermint. Oh, I don't like it mixed with the fruity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't put any fruity in, well, I put grenadine in there, but. This is bomb. I think that's bomb. You think it's bomb. That's hella bomb. Do you think that Santa would drink that at the end of a long night? I think he probably is drinking them all night, frankly. <laughs> 
I mean, he's got reindeer guiding the sleigh anyway. Yeah, right. It's not like he's driving. It's like he's Ubering with a reindeer. Subscribe if you don't miss any of this. Happy Thirsty Thursday. I'll see you next time. Bye. This outfit's making me thirsty, dog. Oh, wow. Gotta go. <laughs>